out in racist dressing. Man, what the fuck is up, nigga? You know what I'm on? And now in the suburb Olympics, we have men's acting like they're from the hood with Mark Phillips. He has been performing pretty well throughout these Olympics. Let's see what he has. Yeah, nigga, what's up, nigga? What's up then? Hold on. Man, what's up, nigga? What's nigga, up, swing, bro. What's swing up, first, nigga. What's up? Man, this nigga too little for me. Get him, little Mark. And this is where he has to truly show us an Olympic performance. He has been put on the spot, something that nobody expected. Let's see how he handles this. Who the fuck you gonna slap, nigga? What's up then? What's up? Yeah. Uh-huh, what's up? What's up? Slap me there, something. Slap me. Slap me, bitch. Yeah, oh yeah, that's what I thought, nigga. That's what I thought, nigga. He's really selling this performance. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay then, nigga. Yeah. Shit, you know what? Don't get what's up? What? What's up? Don't get greedy. He has to close out. All right, then, nigga, y'all better head yeah, on somewhere, nigga. nigga. All right. Better head on somewhere. Bet. And he does. He good, nigga. They, they right, ain't nigga. on shit. They ain't even on shit. They not know nothing. Yeah. Uh and ladies and gentlemen, we truly have just witnessed a gold performance. Mark has done it again, truly outstanding. The way he pulled up his pants and got close to the ops really was a selling point for me. He could have been hit or even worse. And to come back at the end and confirm with Desmond like he really did something is truly the cherry on top. I'm telling you, Ron, this is next level. It is. It is, John. He's definitely earned his gold medal today. Man, what the fuck is up, nigga? You know what I'm on. Yeah. We have Jonathan Newton in men's acting like they're from the hood. Jonathan Newton could also be one of the sleepers. Let's see how this one plays out for the Poland Olympian. Yeah, nigga, what's up? Nigga, what's up, bro? Swing first, bitch. Yeah, 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 what's up? Nigga, too little for me. Get this nigga little. What's up? 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 And he came too close. He slapped, running full speed in the off. Up next, we have one of the hood's favorite activities. We have Team USA in men's jumping. Now, Team USA is definitely a team you want to look out for in jumping because there's not too many other countries that like to jump more than the hoods in the United States. Let's see how they perform this year. And we also have our volunteer Dylan Patel ready to get jumped. Hey, what's good, bro? Hey, let's holler at you real quick. Hey, come on, come on. And they're off. They get him to the ground very quickly and they're beating the mess out of him. Oh, this is gonna be a hard one to beat. You see the rapid hands and oh. Amazing, two stops to the head. He definitely will not be getting up easily from that one. And they run his pockets as well. This team knows what they are doing. And the last second kick, this man is not getting up at all. He definitely felt that and Mark and the team are feeling great about their performance. Next team we have is Canada. Now the Canadians are not bad at jumping. We do expect to see a good jump here not to mention they are a little bit smaller in size but they have added an extra person to balance that out amazing strategy let's see how they do today hey big bro where you from no don't run don't and they're off it seems a little hectic at the oh and a member is hit we're definitely gonna take points off for that it depends on how they recover from here on out they finally get him to the ground let's see what happens all right he good he good Oh, he gets up too quick. This does not look good for Team Canada. Leland knows this and is showing emotion, wishing he could have led his team to do a little bit better. There were a lot of mistakes in Team Canada's jumping. I do not think they're going to be able to come out with a gold, a silver, or a bronze. Maybe they should just stop jumping people as a country. And we have Team Jamaica up next. Now, this team is a sleeper. People in Jamaica are known to have a side that will turn up when needed. This will be an exciting one to watch. Let's see what happens. My boy, walk one, my boy. Going the wrong way, me boy. What? Yeah. Get, him. get him on the ground. Get him on the ground. Bop him. 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 Bop Jamaica with an amazing execution, ladies and gentlemen. In and out, that is the type of jumping you want. A lot of but but buts. We like to hear those and quick and got the point across. The Jamaicans are clearly our gold medalists for the event because they were very efficient. We like the way they were talking. We like what they were doing and they beat the mess out of them. That is a perfect. Starting off with inward restraint, we have Leela Manigo from the Canadian suburbs. One of the top suburbans looking to get the gold today. I'm looking forward to how he handles this one. May I help you? Um, yeah, I'm just looking for my, uh, you know, my box, but I think that is mine right here. Mm -hmm. They delivered to the wrong address. Take it up with USPS. Get off my property. No, nah, I'm saying that that's literally my box. My yeah, and you're trespassing. Get off my property. Take it up with USPS, like I said. Bro, it's literally not that serious. Let me just get the box, bro. No. Man. Bro, you doing What's with it with you people? Ooh, oh, and I'm not sure about that There's one. There's just no talking to you. To, to what? It's no talking to what? And here it is, the big moment. Urban people. Oh, okay. Man, I'm about to go. Hey! No, no, watch out, watch out, watch out, bro.
And there it is, the famous N-word. He's definitely not going to be taking home the gold with that one. He's going to have to rethink his strategy next time. Canada is definitely not happy with this one, considering they were considered a favorite in this round. Next up, we have Desmond Johnson from USA Suburbs. Now, we know that the USA Suburbs is some of the most racist suburbs across the world. Will he be able to take home the gold in N-word restraint? He does not look like a strong candidate. No, oh, no, you get your goddamn out of here. And there it is, not even five seconds. The Americans are ruthless as usual. Racism is running amok out there. They definitely are gonna have to find a better way to hold that racism in. It is getting blatant. Right off the bat, Desmond Johnson is eliminated. But I can't say we expected much from him. And now we have Mark Phillips from the Sweden suburbs. Not too many people know a lot about the Swedish suburbs. They are a sleeper, but we're gonna find out today how good they are at refraining from racism. What are you doing? Oh, what's up? Mm -hmm. uh, it seemed like the mailman uh, mm -hmm. brought my package on action. You know, okay, I live okay. next door. Well, you're trespassing, and I don't know if you know, but that is a federal crime. I just want you to know that. I understand that, and I apologize. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to get my package, mm -hmm. and I'm going to be gone. Um, no, I'll return that to sender, and you can get it from USPS uh, next time. So why, just get, why would I let you return get off of my right property here. right now. I'm, not, I'm man, telling I'm you really nice. That, no, you are going to do all that. I'm going to let you know, right? Demetrius, listen. Nigga, my name ain't fucking Demetrius. What are you talking about? He's looking like he can fold right here. I thought I thought it was Demetrius. Why would you think my name was Demetrius? Whole time, I, I, I you know. Man, you must have no, whoa, whoa, whoa! Hey, hey, hey! Look, I just want to let this you know. I want to let so you know. So, you finna call the cops? No, they're already called, buddy. I was just gonna call them again. No, a twist. He sticks the landing. I call before I open the door. But uh, I just want to let you know, I am the neighborhood watch captain because I don't think you know who I am. Man, you want some bullshit, bro? I'm finna go. Bro. Oh, okay, okay. No, just go ahead. Carry on. I will, nigga. What you talking about? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And this is gonna be the point right here. And okay. Amazing. Truly a stellar performance from Mark Phillips. Nothing less Last expected from the Swedish courts. people. We don't hear Very too much about racism stellar. in that country. And they are proving it Thank here you. today. Mark Phillips has our first gold in the Suburb down, Olympics. Let's get to the next round. We have Mark Phillips doing snitching for Team USA. Now, Team USA has been a little bit off their game this Olympics. They have been losing a lot more than we expected them to lose. Let's see if they can take a gold home in snitching. Hey, Mr. Phillips, how are you doing today? As you know, there was a murder today during a home invasion. Witnesses saw you at the scene. And, you know, we're trying to figure out what happened. Can you tell us what you were doing today? I was at home, chilling. Oh, you was at home, you was at home, okay. Do you have a 10 years? Get out of my face. Okay. So you want to play? Now, remember the goal here is to not snitch, so let's see how solid Mark Phillips can be. I think we've been here for a while. Let's talk about some food. I'm sorry, I got a oh, fries, large fries. Got a Big Mac in here. I'm saying you help me out a little bit, I'll help you out a little bit. All I gotta do is tell me what happened. Hey, he already told me. He already told me what y'all was wearing. He said, you had some tins on. He had some black Air Forces. He said I had some tins on? Some tins. That's what he told me. Man, you just guessed that shit, bro. Guess it? What you mean? I mean, y'all told me you had a, a, a gray Nike suit on. Man, what the fuck? So, so, so he a red-ass nigga? I, I, My nigga a red-ass nigga? I'm not, I'm not saying all that. I'm just saying that's what he told me. Well, fuck it then, shit. Lame-ass nigga, since he want to talk. Shit, hey, I, I feel like I deserve like one year at most. One year? Because I was just looking out. That nigga done ran up in there and shot them people. Oh, that was him? Yeah, I was just looking out, nigga. Okay, he's on that side. He told me he knew that, he knew that place. Oh, for real? Okay. Yeah. Who else was there? Shit, it was, it was man, it was everybody, okay. nigga. Uh, shit, Lil Ray. Lil Ray, okay. Shit, Marcus. Yeah, you know where shit. you know where stay at? Man, hey, I know where they stay. You know okay, I got it, okay. Shit. We'll, we'll get that. We'll get Lame that. ass niggas, I'm snitching on all them niggas. All right, it's all you right here, by the way. You yeah, no, nah, yes, sir, yes, sir. Right and Mark Phillips has started singing. He has sold out the Team USA's hoods. Maybe he was a bit hungrier than he had led the investigation team to believe because he seemed to start folding when the McDonald's was pulled out the bag. A great job from the investigator, Benjamin Skinner. A big upset, Mark Phillips will not be
And with this event, we have racist dressing. And we love it. They are giving it their all right off the back, starting with Lila Menigo with the fit, looking racist as ever. The glasses are a nice touch with the American flag on his hat. And he turns around. The Blue Lives Matter flag, really big, printed on the back. Lila Menigo is definitely doing his job here in the suburbs of Canada. He is definitely a racist. And that's going to be hard to follow, but we have Benjamin Skinner. And right off the back, a blazing performance to start with the American flag across the shoulders on the shirt. I don't know if we've seen this before, ladies and gentlemen. With a bland rest of a fit, he knows what he's doing. Wait, the glasses. This man is racist. This man is racist. He's definitely in the lead at the moment. All we have left is Desmond Johnson. I'm not sure how he's going to follow that performance. Ladies and gentlemen, Benjamin Skinner has done something that many people cannot do. And Desmond Johnson comes out, he looks pretty basic. I'm not too sure why he would put on this fit. This makes his suburbs look not racist and that's not a good look at all. He turns around and we see he is in fact a racist. United we rise, wow. That is Desmond Johnson, always a twist, always something to keep the crowd in awe. But I'm going to have to give it to Ben. Let's go in slow motion. So right off the back, we see Ben with the hat and you see that and you already know he could be racist, but you're not completely sure. Your eyes scroll down just a little bit and you see he has a cut off shirt on and you know he probably has a racist stylist helping him put these clothes together. And that is what you need, ladies and gentlemen, to bring home the gold. Benjamin Skinner has done it. He has brought home the first gold 